What's up cousins? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, for the very first time, I think I am bringing you guys in my car just because this video could not wait. This is not clickbait. This is not kind of something and trying to find a way to bring it into the to the title of the video. No, you read the title right. The title says Zephul is canceled and it really is. So let me just start off this video by saying the way that I came across this image on Zephul's website, I came across the image. What is today's date? Today's date is May 21st, 2018. So I came across this image last night, May 20th, 2018. The way that I came across this image is that actually on two different occasions by two different reps by Zephul, they really can take you or leave you like their search for customer satisfaction or customer value, um, repeat customers is not there. You know, if they can get you know, 5,000 people to buy one item versus, you know, building long-term customers out of maybe like a 1,000 people, they were rather the quantity over the quality. I will have all the evidence put here probably on the screen. Um, So I have my receipts for everything. I actually was looking for, you know, some outfits and things like that for the summertime. And um, I actually have been thinking about making some purchases from them on my own. And a lot of times I will do that just because I don't want, um, I don't like being rushed, you know, to, to put out my content. Like I'd like to put out my content when I want to. So a lot of times, even if these companies reach out to me to work with them, I will um, still just want to purchase it myself just because I want to film videos on my own time but um, a couple of days go by and I do decide to go through the inventory and um, I've you know pick my inventory and literally that same day a different rep reached out to me and said hey you know we want to work with you same thing and a lot of times that's what tripped me out this is how I know they really don't be caring about the influencers they really not like invested in you they really just going down a list of <laughs> vloggers with a certain uh subscriber number and they just sending out mass emails because there's no way if y'all really were caring about like the influencers that you worked with that y'all would be sending me the same email like in the same day like they send you specific links to like the inventory that they want you to choose from and I, my guess is that they're wanting you to choose from like their newer items they don't want you to choose from like sale items to model because they're trying to sell like their newer items and they do probably have items that are marked off only for their sorry if i'm getting like sidetracked i'm waiting to pick up my little cousins from school and i'm sitting in the carpool line so this is how y'all know <laughs> that i really needed to get this out i'm sitting in the carpool line talking about these i went through the list of inventory on the first page found maybe two little tops that i wanted to get and then by the time i clicked like next page to go to the next slide I um and then somebody just stared at me while I'm filming this video it was on it was on this page and I'm gonna show you guys a picture and I am gonna link this item in my description box now how long they are going to leave that item up after hopefully this video gets a lot of traction I want you guys to share this video like this video comment on this video I run across this item and immediately I am just like what the is this like what is this anybody who knows any kind of history or the history of racism not only in america but across the world like in theater like the sambo and blackface and just a lot of derogatory stereotypical um, minstrels and things like that knows that this is very offensive so immediately i take a screenshot of it and i put it on my instagram so if you follow me on instagram or you follow me on twitter you have already seen this i didn't i didn't expect anybody to respond to me via instagram because a lot of times they don't even check their dms i don't really check my dms and i'm nowhere near as big of a following so I didn't expect any response for them from them on Instagram or Twitter if anything I expected maybe for them to block me but since I had just been in contact with them literally like two hours before this situation somebody is walking up behind me so hopefully they're not gonna get yeah I 
used the link and I sent the link to them. Like I was like, okay, let me, some people are responding to me. So y'all, y'all can respond to me quick, fast. When y'all think y'all finna get some promotion out of me, y'all can respond to this email. And I just said, can you explain this inventory item to me? That's the first thing I said when I sent it to both of them. And one of them, one of the reps uh, did not respond at all. Then the second rep responded um, and said something to the effect of this is how you order. Basically, it was just talking to me like I was dumb like don't ask me about no inventory item follow these steps to order <laughs> what you need to order I was like you know what let me explain myself better I send it back and I said no I would like to know why this seemingly racist item is in your inventory can you explain what this item means or something like that can you explain it to me a lot of these reps don't know what they have in inventory they don't know nothing about the inventory they just there to get people on board get influencers on board explain this to me because this there's I feel like if you look at that inventory item and you look at what a sambo is and you look at what blackface is and you look at the stereotypical images that have been put in there and you look at how many of these companies are continuing to put these items out there under the guise of ignorance that they didn't think it was going to offend anybody. There's no way that Zafool did not. What? What is that supposed to be like? In what world? Like somebody explain to me in the comment section because you're going to go and cape for Zafool in this comment section because I know it's always going to be somebody. Somebody going to say I'm reaching. Somebody going to say I'm pulling a race car. Somebody going to say I'm getting offended by the smallest of things. So if you're one of those people, you tell me what is that supposed to be? There's literally a Sambo saying, look at me to be the entertainment. That's what I read from it, to be the entertainment for white folk. And it's so funny. I was just on my Instagram talking about how like every day on YouTube, something is something else is canceled. We in a panic about something. I was just saying this. And even with this, y'all, if you don't want to cancel Zafool, you don't cancel Zafool. I said at the end of the day, make up your own mind and it's so funny not an hour after I posted that <laughs> in my daily stories did this happen so make up your own mind but for me Zephyr was canceled I did not continue to work with them I did not put in an order with them I am not going to work with them because whoever okay that is not okay I'm done that's why I don't boycott anything all willy-nilly like I make up my own mind because when I say I'm done I'm done. You know, I've seen all these different influencers do, you know, lookbooks with it. And it's like you start to feel good when you start to be amongst that crowd and you get started. People start reaching out to you and wanting to pay you for your content. But some things are just not worth it. You guys, you know, can tell me I'm wrong in the comment section. I'm fine with that. You guys can agree with me in the comment section. But at the end of the day, I don't want to be on Instagram and see some little white girl with this shirt on with it saying, look at me, look at me, look at me as if it's cute. I'm, I'm done. And y'all can tell me how, how, however you feel in the comment section.